right. What should we draw now? Yeah, this will be video free. So, gonks. I think we'll do gonks. Because they seem to be a little bit on the popular side. Now, they're very, very simple to draw gonks. And that basically is... I always start again with the nose, which, like so, and they wear these little pointed hats, very much like a gnome type hat. In fact, I have actually had people say to me, they're not goats. They're gnomes. Well, they could be. But, in my book, they're gonks. Because apart from anything else, gonk is a delicious word. And we like saying the word gonk. Gonk, 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 you see. And I had several move into the house. And the goblins, because there's 500 goblins, well, that was the last count, living under the stairs. And they adore the gonks. They actually do drink together quite often. Now, see, the gonk is really a hat. A beard and two rather large feet. Really, that's all a gonk is. In its resting position. Now, of course, if gonks get agitated, which can happen, especially when they've been drinking my gin, which they do seem to like rather too much actually and of course these days I tend to buy gin and tonic in a can because it's easier you could just keep that in the fridge and you can help yourself and also they do cocktails the same way and you can have margaritas, I think. I'm pretty sure I've drunk margaritas in a can. But at the moment, I'm drinking glass-sized bottles of red wine. Well, when I say drinking, very rarely do I drink at all these days. I used to drink rather too much probably I think there's probably people out there that will agree with that statement in my misspent youth now there we are gonk well, now these gonks very rarely do you see just one gong I mean there's usually a sort of I don't know what you'd call a group of gonks a horde of gonks a gong cage? No, that doesn't sound right, does it? A gong cave? No, I don't know. Perhaps it's something we could work on. Because I quite like the word gaggle. I think that... I think that applies to geese. Could you have a gaggle of gonks? Let's, for the sake of argument at the moment, say we have a gaggle. Or, actually, what would be quite good for would be a giggle. Because I like quite like the word giggle. That's a nice word, isn't it? We could have a giggle of gonks. Now, some people, very lovely, well-intentioned people, have put,
point of that, that these gonks look like one or two people are by Facebook page. Now, I think that is grossly unfair. And in no way was I influenced by the way anybody looks on my Facebook page to draw gonks. This one, I think, would draw a slightly different shaped hat. Let's give him a witch's hat. I only know it as a witch's hat. I don't know whether it's called something different. I don't know. Probably it is. And probably somebody will tell me that it's got another name. Proper name. Certainly not a trilby, is it? See, and then we're going to put a buckle on the front of this one. Like so. And that covers right like that. Oh. Seems to be a rather complicated way of drawing a buckle. There we go. We've got a couple of lines coming down here. So give that an effect. And then we gotta give it a go some hair. Right, so now what I tend to do with these little creatures little fellows, little chaps. I tend to match the colour of their hats. With their little boots. Because I don't know, it seems to work quite nicely. And they're quite cute little chaps. Now, as regards female gonks, I don't know how that works. They're, they're quite secretive about that. I mean, obviously there's something going on there, but uh, quite what it is, I don't know. So, I mean, we could keep drawing these gonks However, really, I do actually make some gongs. I don't know if you've seen them. They're a bit of fun. That I, well, especially at the moment, with everybody stuck at home, it's quite good fun to try anything new, isn't it? So, We keep drawing these gonks while the lovely Janice is singing a little art out. Like a bit of Janice Joplin. Is the sun is well I can't say it's streaming through the window because it's not but it is uh, quite a sunny morning. And I usually only get the sun in this room in the morning but more by accident the design you do get the sun in the afternoon because it shines on the windows opposite and floods this room which is quite handy but what I could do with, really, is a rotating house. And then you could actually track round, couldn't you? And have the sun in the same room. Well, you could have it in whichever room you desired then, couldn't you? It'd be really good. Now, the gaunts are quite happy about this, about being drawn like this. But unfortunately, I got some goblins in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. But, uh, no, oh, well, that's right then. But they are getting quite animated because they want to know where their drawn is. 
Alright, but I just have to say to him that I will do I will draw you guys, don't worry. She says I've only got one pair of hands. And that's the way of the world, isn't it? One pair of hands. Now we can put because these fellas are gonna be sat on some grass, so we could draw a little bit of grass. Uh, I'm pretty much old school kind of cartoonist, I suppose you would call it. My hero years ago was a chap called, he used to do the Giles cartoons. And I used to get the annual every Christmas. I still got several of them. I used to get, because my grandfather, he was an artist, used to always get the Charles Christmas book with the year's worth of cartoons that had appeared in that. I think it was the Express. I might be wrong, but I think it was the Express. I'll draw another gonk here, I think. Another one with that, as a given of uh, ordinary sort of stuff. Like Gonky hat. Now, the reason I got interested in these chaps is the lovely Sally at Christmas. She knows I'm into sort of dark things. Because she was the person who brought Edith the chicken into the house with all the other chickens that now live here. Yeah, oh yeah, we have lots of adventures with Edith the Chicken. She's a she's quite a character. She's well apparently, I don't know if this is true. She's actually related to the Rothschilds. You know, the bank people, very wealthy people. Financiers. She's a bit secretive about her personal wealth. I do know that she does tend and a little entourage do tend to jet it set around the world quite a bit. Of course, at the moment, they're kind of stuck because they can't do the travelling, and that's a bit of a shame. The last time they went anywhere, I think they went to the Australian Open a few years ago because they're very friendly with, uh, well, Edith. Well, she's got a bit of a... Well, there was, I don't know if it still is. There was something going on between her and... Rafa Nadal, apparently, but uh, like I said, this is a chicken thing. We're not going to gossip about Edith for the chickens just yet. I might do a, a video, show you how to draw Edith for the chickens. Is there a bit of fun? And of course, you can't mention Edith for the chickens without mentioning the dancing ducks in hats. Now, there was only three of them the last time I counted them. And they were out in the rain we had the other day. And they were doing a, what they call it, splash dancing. You know. They quite enjoy doing that. And there you are, look, that's how you, that's how you draw some gonks. And you could colour these in, again, with the watercolour pencils to your heart's content. And these are quite quite happy little fellas, and you, you could draw them in different ways, with different shaped hats. Do whatever you want. I mean, I don't mind. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. You don't even have to watch this video. Of course, if you got to this stage, you have practically watched the whole video because that's about it for the gonks. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Right then, that's uh, video three. Okie dokie. Catch you later.